Hi, welcome to the Blender 2.68 tutorial on mesh editing. We don't want the cube this time, so let's delete the cube. And let's delete with the numpad. And our cursor is at 0, 0. Let's create an object. Shift A. We want to create a mesh and we'll create a UV sphere. We'll just leave it at the default sphere for now. Uh, actually, we'll just change the size here to 2. Maybe a little bit bigger. It's all relative anyways. We can zoom in and zoom out. And we hit tab to go into object mode, or you can always use this option. The key that you will use quite often is A. It will select and deselect all. And uh, the C key will help you select vertices. And you just keep clicking on vertices to select more vertices. You can select, well, you need to hit escape to get out of this mode. You can select edges or faces. But let's work with vertices for now. Uh, you can turn off the shading and see all the vertices on the object but that means you'll also be selecting the back faces as well. Normally you want to work with just the front faces depending on what object you're using. And one thing we'll do right now is render. You want to learn how to render your image. Okay, so you can see that this sphere is created from uh, quad polygons. And it looks like it's created from po quad polygons. So let's look at our, let's just turn this off for now. Okay. So shading. That is flat, called flat shading. If we want smooth shading, it'll take the normal from one face and gradually adjust it to the normal of another face. And we'll render that again. And it didn't work. And it didn't work because I didn't select my object. So, uh, in object mode, and smooth. Okay, now we can render it. It's still a little bit lumpy, okay? And that's based on the number of subdivisions for this object. Okay, so let's delete it and create a new sphere. Add UV sphere. So what we can do here is change the number of rings and segments. So that's a lot more smooth. And if we click on smooth and now render it, we get a very nice sphere. You can hardly see the bumps. OK, but for now, let's delete the sphere. And create a lower resolution sphere. So this was originally 16. Maybe that was 32. Okay. Anyways, we have a sphere. Let's go into vertex mode. 
and let's select some points. And I'm just left clicking to select the points. And we have to hit escape if we want to do other functions. Now I'm going to grab the I'm going to grab the red axis marker and pull the vertices out. Okay? And that's with the left mouse button. Now I'm going to undo that. There are different ways that we can pull these points. And here we go. So we want connected. We want connected. And we can choose to pull the adjacent points. And this one's pulling them out as a sphere. And just play with these until you get something you like. Okay. In addition to pulling points, we can extrude points as well. So extrude just pulls. It doesn't pull out the points. It pulls out uh, a section with the points. And when you have the correct pull, just left click. And uh, now we can move these points in different directions. Okay, and when you're testing, it's always good to undo. Another useful tip for using the circle selector is you can use the plus or minus keys on the numeric pad to make the selection area larger or smaller. And these are about all the tools you need for mesh editing at the moment. Practice these and we'll move on to the next tutorial.